We're starting, boys. Three, two, one, go! Got Utopian Ray fighting off against Venia's Greninja. Palo versus Venium here in Winter Semis. Loser of this is going to take a trip down to Loser's Quarters. Win uh, and winner of this is going to move on to Winner's Finals. Now, both these guys have won Xenos in the past. They face off each other against each other time and again have a lot of a uh, think of win lose what have you but venue's been playing really well against the palutena's and joining me here on the mic is the one the only the dreamer bars how you doing bro here um i'm dying but i'm okay you're dying yes do you need some water do you need some air do you need um, some i need a coffin yeah you know, coffee oh i feel it you're no, tired no no coffin coffin oh yes. yeah um, i mean there's a sale going on next door man yeah i believe it um mm -hmm. Yeah, man. But, uh, okay, so we got a uh, Ray and Venia. Oh, man. Yeah. Classic. Yeah, be beautiful stuff. Uh, let's hope that Venia doesn't get hit with another pile up here. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Definitely something's going to have to be on the lookout for. Great pivot grab coming from Ooh. Ray. Now, Ray's entire game plan with Palutena, you know, is going to be trying to keep Venia away at all costs, land those neutral airs, be able to combo into some killing blows afterwards. Neutral has the ability to go for the ki uh, combos as well as the killing blow. Yeah, um, and Venia also... Mm -hmm. Since he plays Water Fox, he likes, yeah. to, he likes to fish for these Nairs. And that was a great gimp by Venya. He actually angled that water to push uh, Ray underneath the PS2 platform. It shows the expertise from Venya. Like, he has such control with Hydro Pump. He's able to just throw it out like that. Yeah, because the thing about that Hydro Pump is that you could actually mess it up. And if you angle it incorrectly... That's a self-destruct, um, you know? Yeah. Or it could send your opponent back upwards. But mm -hmm. with that being said, uh, Ray taking that stock with the back air that is, uh, what is it? Has no, what is that? Trample? Is that, is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Just okay. smack him with the shield. Yeah. But we got ourselves a two stock match here on Pokemon Stadium 2. I'm a little shocked that Venio opted to agree to this. I, I'm, I'm one of those 2019 people that says, stop taking Palo to PS2, man. Like, she loves this stage. Yeah. Um, I mean, also, Venny is one of those players that even if the matchup does, is bad on that stage. He tends to just do it for out of comfort. Yeah, I, honestly, a lot of people like PS2. It's why people will take this for the game number two. A lot of people will just like, just be like, you would want to, you know, just default to the stage. It's all good. 85 has him off stage at 103 percent. We get this edge guard going off. Goes off with a neutral air, yeah. but Venya opted to recover high that time around. Yeah, great angle by Venya, um, because he opted to go high. Because maybe if he went lower, he probably could have stayed spiked by mm. that neutral air. So it's good stuff by Venia, but with that being said, now they, um, you have Ray has Venia in disadvantage, and he went for that downer after he did the counter. You know, he is in a vulnerable shade after he does that counter. Yeah, I think that was a little greedy on Ray's part, actually, just to go off like that with the backer. Yes, he would have gotten the stock, but now he put himself in a very bad position going for that, trying to find his way back down to get some real estate on that ground. Yeah, and, um, and Venia disrespecting Palutena at the ledge, um, not really pushing the envelope. Not wanting to sacrifice stage vision or get reversal back throw. Um, but with that being said, Ray still takes a stop to neutral, calling out one of Venia's jumps. Mm. And Venia just, just as she wrote in the first stock, man, I feel like we're witnessing deja vu right now. Venia just got the down tilt into forward air, immediately closing out one stock apiece on this game number one. Yeah, uh, one one good thing that Venia is doing in neutral. Uh, if you notice that uh, the way Venia is playing against Palu, he's playing very grounded. Because he knows that on the ground, Palu only really has two great burst options, and that's dash attack and dash grab. And uh, that was either the craziest bait in the world, or um, Ray is a genius. And Venia is even bigger genius. I think he just self-destructed. Like, honestly, I don't know what the heck just happened. That was a... Uh, that was a big oof. That was a... Uh... When you think about it, that's the second time Ray died like that. I mean, yes, the first granted, the first one was technically a gimp from the water. Yeah, do we, still but, have, do we still have the Vomit Zard emote? Yeah, I mean, oh, one, get, one person has that. Can we get the Vomit Zard in chat? Right now? So, someone will type it out, that, <laughs> one, that $125 view. <laughs> Who is it? Who does? Who has that? Uh, the one and only B-Sharp. Oh, let's oh, go, let's go. Ultra homie. My boy B-Sharp out here. Yeah, but um, Ray running it back to PS2, like you said, this is a good stage for Palutena. And he probably seems, he probably think, he's thinking to himself, like, you know, it was just a minor setback. Yeah. Just an SD. Wow. But he killed him at 60%. Did th that last game, my good God, like, it, it, the momentum's still there. I feel like Utopian Ray might have counterpicked a little bit too soon, because Venya's still cooking, dude. Yeah, because uh, he's coming out kind of lackadaisical. And see, the way Venya's approaching this this neutral is, he's waiting for Ray to jump, because he knows that Palutena in the air isn't as good as Palutena on the ground. Mm. So he knows he has the advantage while boxing her on the ground. Because right now, every time he jumps in the air, Venya's either anti-airing her or he's sending her completely out of the sky. That's right. 
And there you go. The second, the only time he goes for the jump is when he's actually already above her, mm -hmm. above him, and like on that platform like that. Yeah, and he's just playing it, and you know he's playing at that set distance for for making Ray to actually commit to an option like a neutral air or a dash tech or something, something to overextend. Trying to avoid that down air. Ooh. Again, trying to go with the Hydro Pump as well to give that active hitbox out there that doesn't actually put you out of free fall. Could have easily gone for yet another kill. Okay, the double parry on the Hydro Pump, but um, that's cool. And Ray is struggling to find any sort of damage against Benny. He's only got a 58 so far, already been overlapped and then some. Yeah. Onto his second. Yeah, Venny's literally just stage camping him. He's camping him on the other side of the stage. He knows yeah. that Palutena has those limited options, even though Palutena does have explosive mm. punish potential. Um, some of our options can be limited. You Ooh, know that? Drill down okay, so hold on. Venny played passive that entire time until he saw one little opening and he took it all the way, dragging him down with the up air into the down smash. No techie boys coming out from red. It's going to be three stocks to one. Yeah. Looks like Venny might be going in on the winner's finals, honestly. Yeah, man, and you know, he also has a three stock lead, so he can, it's on the onus of Ray to approach. So he can play as passive if he, as he wants to. Besides the fact Palutena having those limited grounded options, um, he can afford to do this, Venny. Yeah. I mean, there he we looked, go, just catches great. the down tilt. I mean, you saw him recognizing going for that ledge, but. Yeah, and great catch by Ray. You know, Venny does do that a lot at the ledge shadow sneak. He shadow sneaks first to try to hit you away from the ledge, but, um,. Good call out by Ray. Yeah, even though he doesn't have that much momentum, he's still able to catch on to some habits. He saw an opportunity there, but didn't, like, guess yeah. he didn't feel it in his gut, you know? Didn't didn't have the cojones to follow up. Yeah, didn't, didn't pull that trigger, because uh, he definitely just walked up and stalked him. Yeah. Ooh, okay. I think it's that fall down. Just going to tech away instead. Yeah, and Venia with the, the spacing of the nares on his um, Ray's shield is just really good. Um, but Ray, you know, getting a little bit of momentum has Venia at 72%. You know, a good read off stage with an aerial, maybe a down air could um, bring us a little bit closer. Down on the ground, catches ooh, that, the ooh, dash that was, that was That was some type of DI. Could have potentially gone for a uh, trump there. Yeah, good though. pivot grab from Venia. Hold on. Ooh, oh, and he called out that spot that was a little too early on the trigger. Benny is moving right now. He's dash dancing back and forth, waiting for this opportunity, trying to apply all this pressure. You saw him even go, uh, force right into that roll option. But didn't capitalize on it. Has that 142%. Yeah, and he's just waiting for the overextension to come. Okay, up air from there we go. Uh, relieve some pressure with that up air. I mean, very obvious that Ray wants to go for that grab because oh, he's, he's on the edge of the stage. Instead, goes for the up throw instead, and Venny is going to move on to winner's finals. Yeah, quick. I mean, that was a... So, well, you definitely cleaned it up from um, game one, uh, Venia, because it seemed like Ray couldn't even really gain a footing. Uh, it just seemed like the way Venny was playing passive, hmm. um, you couldn't get his offense started the way he wanted to. He wanted some of that grounded, those grounded options that, you know, Palutena's like to throw out. And Vanny just wasn't giving it to him. 